Hi, this is Rabbi Alon Ferenczi coming to you from Heskem in a synagogue in Knoxville, Tennessee. This is the third of a series of Torah tidbits I want to offer every week to prepare you for the Torah reading of the week and to give you something to think about as you head into your weekend. This week we read Parshat Shlach Lecha, so the middle third of the book of Numbers, which deals with the story of the scouts, often called the spies, that Moses sends into the land of Canaan to reconnoiter and examine the land. They come back describing the glories of the land, it's the largeness of its produce, the glory of its cities, but ultimately they are afraid. They see themselves and the people as incapable of conquering its current inhabitants, to which God is quite vexed and suggests, demands, that none of this wilderness generation will enter the land, that this is an act of fecklessness and faithlessness. But how? We understand this to be a true report, that the people of the land were large, exceptionally large, perhaps the descendants of the giants of old. So among the many issues that our sages seize upon to try to explain God's wrath and God's ultimate decision to not permit the people to enter the, the land is a statement of the spies in Numbers 13, 33. They say, we were like grasshoppers in our own eyes and so we were too in their eyes. We saw ourselves as small, as meek, as weaklings, and we know that they saw us this way too. In the Talmud, Rabbi Misharshia says, the spies have to be liars. Granted, they could say honestly that they were grasshoppers in their own eyes, but to say that they were grasshoppers in the eyes of the inhabitants, how could they have known that? And so I want you to think as you head into your weekend about the ways in which you demean yourself, the ways in which you imagine others to be greater than you, critical of you, the ways in which your insecurity, and everyone has this, descends into paranoia. The truth is, as my experience of counseling many people, no one's thinking about you that much. No one has formed such a strong opinion of you, at least in most cases. And your greatest enemy, your greatest critic, is yourself. We all, and I can say that from this room, counseling many people here, we all have fears, sadnesses, angers, and resentments. There is no one exempt from the difficulties of childhood and career and marriage. You should know that. And your greatest enemy is yourself. We all think that the person next to us, the person across the fence, our neighbor, our colleague, is happier than we are. But the truth is, we are all struggling. As Plato said, be kind to everyone, for there is no person who does not struggle and is not fighting a hard battle. So I wish you great confidence and security this Shabbat. You may see yourself as a grasshopper, but don't imagine that's the world's perspective. Before I leave you, I want to tell you a short story. I recently learned to love singing. My whole life I imagined that I had a horrible singing voice. But over the years, enough people told me that they liked the way I sing, so I had to believe them instead of me. That's really what's happening outside. Your worst critic is inside you. Shabbat Shalom. If you liked this video, please do like, share, and subscribe to the channel.